Hi everyone, Stepan here. Uh, I'm going to play a training game now. Uh, okay, so let me update you on why I haven't been uh, recording videos for the last few days and what I've been doing. So, I have two tournaments coming up, one starting in five days, then the other one right after that. So I've decided to take a few days break uh, in December before the tournaments start. Uh, I've let the guys on Patreon know, uh, so I'm... I, I thought it would be nice to 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 tell you as well. So I'm going to try to relax for the next for the next few days. I will not be recording or 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 doing much. I'll basically try to uh, revisit my repertoire, work a bit on my tactics, and then and then play the tournaments refreshed. Uh, and I'll basically try to get some rest. Uh, so I will continue the the opening series when the tournaments finish on december 22nd uh, then i will also start uh, streaming finally uh, and yeah th those are my plans the next few days the next the next four days i'm going to use to to try to relax and and prepare for the tournament as best as i can i'm going to uh, start uh i'm going to try to create a game 15 plus 15 uh 2100 as uh, my opponent's lowest uh, possible rating so i hope to play somebody stronger than me if i don't get a game in uh, soon enough then i'm going to just go for custom pairing or random pairing sorry uh, so yeah uh, i'll be playing 18 games in a row uh, i've been working a lot and i hope i hope it pays off i've read several times in, in one of botvinnik's books uh, where i remember it from that uh, before a tournament, you need time to relax. So this is the first time I'm going to try to do that. And also, one of my best friends keeps telling me that uh, people who want to perform well need deliberate practice, but they also need deliberate rest. So this will be the first time I take deliberate rest uh, before a tournament. And I hope I hope it goes well. I hope it pays off. So. I'm going to be playing uh, new openings, a new repertoire. Uh, in round one of the of the first tournament, I'm going to be facing an international master or a FIDE master. In any case, somebody between 2350 and 2450. So it's going to be a tough game, as it usually is in rounds one of tournaments. Uh, I can't seem to be able to get the game, so I'll just go for random pairing. I don't want this to take too long. Uh, I've been playing some... Uh, Tournament control, control training games uh, against friends and uh, colleagues and uh, club mates. So I've been trying to get into... My, my opponent is 1700. Okay, still. Okay, he aborted the game. Okay, new opponent. Uh, I don't know why he aborted. It's always nice to play somebody high rated. Okay, this one is 1940. Okay, let's go for e4. Let's see what happens. So not higher rated than me, but uh, what can you do? Knight of three, the open Sicilian. He goes for d6. Uh, okay, now, uh, after knight of six, I've usually played the prince. But in my new repertoire, I don't play the prince anymore. But I don't want to give away what I play just yet. So I'm going to play the prince Sicilian with pawn to f3. Okay, g6. Uh, the correct move is is e5, uh, trying to stop me from from creating a Maroxi bind. This is okay. I mean, he's going for the for the dragon, but uh, he just just gave me the opportunity to go for the Maroxi bind, which he shouldn't have done. E5 is is correct, and he wants to fight for the center. Immediately wants to disrupt my development. If I'm forced to go knight b3, which I am. In that case, then he has a fairly pleasant position. I'm not too concerned about about queen b6. Maybe I should have been. Queen b6, knight f5, queen b2. Okay. Maybe queen b6 is a good move. Maybe I just blundered. I shouldn't have played this quickly. I mean, I'm, I'm going for a setup and I didn't even consider my options. Okay, he doesn't play queen b6. I, I'm going to check this with an engine. So if queen b6, knight f5, he can take on b2, threatening my knight. Uh, and if queen b6, 
knight c2, he can still take on b2. I think queen b6 was just a good move. Okay, now, queen d2, queen b6, knight f5, the queen cannot take, uh, and that should be more pleasant. After queen d2, I can also... Okay, on the previous move, queen b6, knight f5, queen b2, knight takes g7, check, king f8, rook c1, king takes g7. I'm getting rid of his bishop, so maybe queen b6 didn't work. Okay, now I'll just play queen d2 to secure my position. So yeah, I, I need to be slightly more careful about that queen b6 idea, because after queen b6, if I do nothing, he's threatening knight takes e4. Uh, winning my knight because it would be attacked three times. But okay, it turned out okay. Okay, castles, that's fine. Uh, bishop e2. I want to castle, get my a rook to c1, h rook to d1. Um, Okay, this is normal. Castles. I don't think many dragon players are used to playing against kingside castling. Usually they, I think they have more experience against queenside castling. And this is now a position I've played a ton of times. I'm, I like it. I'm comfortable with it. E5 is not a good move because it blocks in the bishop. Uh, so... Black is going to have a hard time farting, fighting for central control, and if uh, Black tries something like e6, then knight b5 is very annoying. So d5 is basically not happening, which is good. A solid Maroxy bind. I have one bad piece, the bishop on e2. Uh, okay, this doesn't concern me either, just b3. This is normal. Uh, And yeah, get my rooks to the center and eventually uh, play on the queen side. Uh, try to try to activate my bishop. Also, knight h5 is not a threat for now, uh, so I may just try to trade off my bishops, uh, his bishop for my bishop. And also, uh, another plan is going for h3 to stop knight g4 and then go for f4, f5, trying to open up the position. Uh, he doesn't have b5 because I take it when a pawn. Uh, it would be wise to play rook c1 before that in case queen c7 happens. Uh, so rook c1 is a normal move. Uh, just trying to solidify my position to make sure my knight is not hanging. If queen c7, I don't really want to, to play knight d5 because then I would get a pawn to d5. That would open up my bishop, but it would allow b5 and it would make d5 uh, less of a weakness than it is now. Bishop h6 is always an idea, but I'm not sure I want to play it just yet. His knight is fine on e5, but it looks kind of awkward without any targets. Uh, h3 is definitely a move I want to play, especially because after something like queen b6, when the bishops are traded, the diagonal could become weak. But I still have one free move to make, and that's rook f to d1, a move that I don't have to think about. Although if I want to go for h3, f4, f5, the rook on f1 is pretty good. So that's another thing. I'm two minutes ahead on the clock. Uh, does this work? Um, knight d5, queen d2, knight takes e7, check. Uh, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, check. King h8, queen takes queen. Is my knight on d4 loose? Knight d5, what does he do? He should probably go back. Uh, I'm slightly worried about knight takes e4, but for as long as his knight stays on a5, on e5, he doesn't have a discovered attack on my d4 knight. So knight d5, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, check king h8, bishop takes queen. Uh, he isn't discover attacking discovered attacking my d4 knight, so that should work. And if knight d5, queen d8, uh, I could trade off my c3 knight, although I don't want to. Uh, I could also try... 
knight d5, queen d8, I can go rook d1 or h3, so I'm not too concerned about that, I'm going to play it. Okay, knight d5. That, that this is a common knight jump jump in in the in the Maroxi by in Sicilian, a very common move. Uh, after which Black needs to revisit his plans. Basically, ideally, I want to have my knight off of d4 to be able to play uh, bishop b6 or knight b6 to win his good bishop. But if it's not possible, it's not possible. Okay, now I. I'm not sure I want to allow knight takes d5, so should we just repeat? I keep looking at knight f5, but it doesn't work. Knight f5, gf5, bishop b6, queen e8, knight c7, attacking the queen. He can just go rook c7, bishop c7, and they gave up two pieces for the rook, which is not good. Again, I don't want to allow knight takes d5. So... Maybe moving my d4 knight makes sense. If I move my d4 knight, knight d5, queen d5. Knight d5, queen d5, looking at b7, but then bishop c6. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm just going to bring my knight back. I don't want to allow knight takes d5. I mean, I realize that I've just repeated the position, but... I don't want to allow my pawn to get onto d5 just yet. He wants to repeat, okay. Uh, I mean, what's his threat after queen d8? I don't think there is one. So if I could just move my knight away. So okay, I think I want to go for f4, f5 which is a very aggressive plan. So h3, what does he do? h3, what does he do? I'm, I'm going to play h3 just to see what he does. Uh, my threat is f4. And then f5 with tempo. just realized that I'm still drinking coffee it, and it's half past five here. Should not be doing that. Knight c6. Now that makes my plan work, doesn't it? Because now my knight is not on d4. So knight c6, bishop c6, knight d5. Knight c6, bishop c6, knight d5, queen d8, bishop b6. And then knight c7. So knight c6... If he takes with the b pawn, can I still play that? Knight c6, b takes c6, knight d5. Queen d2, knight e7, king h8, bishop d2, rook c to e8 traps my knight. So if I go knight c6, he's going to take with mm, 
the b pawn. Knight c6, b takes, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, king h8, bishop d2, rook c to e8, traps my knight. And the c6 pawn actually helps him play for d5. So again, knight c6, b c6, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, king h8, bishop d2, rook c to e8. Damn, that works. And he is also getting away from f4 being with tempo. Knight c6, b c6, knight d5, queen d2. Knight c6, b c6, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, king h8, bishop d2, rook c2, e8. No, it definitely doesn't work. So I'm just going, I'm going to play rook f to d1 uh, to reinforce my position. I don't really mind if he trades on c6, then my threat is stronger of playing uh, knight to d5. And now that I don't have f4, f5 with tempo, I sort of want to... Want to play on the d file. I'm two minutes down on the clock, which is not good, because the game has barely started, we're still in the opening. Well, okay, you could say this is the middle game now, but still very early on, a lot of moves to be played. Yeah, I'm also, uh, I'm, I'm going to start a new series after New Year's, which I'm really excited about. Yeah, I don't know why I just said that, because I don't want to give it away, but I found, uh, well, I've, I've decided to do a series that I think is going to be fun and useful uh, for, for me to do and for you guys to see. It's something I've never done on the channel, which I hope, I hope you're going to like. Uh, I'm going to work on it uh, when I come back from uh, from the, the second tournament. Okay, uh, knight h5, what does that do? Uh, what does knight h5 do? Threatens knight g3. I'm not too concerned about that. Uh, if I go knight d5 now, we are just going to trade everything. So, knight d5. If he takes on d4, that's fine. Uh, I'm threatening knight c6, knight b6. I don't want to take on c6 again, uh, reinforcing his d5 break and trapping my knight. So let's, let's just run through it again. Knight c6, b6, knight d5, queen d2, knight e7, king h8. Now rook d2. Rook 
c to e8. I can go rook d6, but he takes on e7. And he's a piece up. You don't like it? Knight d5, knight d4, bishop d4, bishop d4, queen d4 should be fine for me. I can also interpose knight e7, knight d4, queen d2. Knight d5, queen d2, rook d2, knight uh, to d4, I can take on e7. So I like knight d5, looks kind of aggressive, I'm not afraid of, of knight g3. I still have two defenders on my d4 knight, if he decides to take, I'm okay, goes back again. Uh, but now it should work. So, knight c6, bishop c6, uh, bishop b6. Aha, but now when he takes on c6 with the bishop, uh, after bishop b6 he has queen d7. But then I can go back and threaten knight b6. So, okay, knight c6, if he takes with the b-pawn, he loses the exchange because of bishop b6, queen e8, and knight c7. Uh, if he takes with the bishop, then I can still go bishop b6, but then queen d7, and I retreat the bishop, I threaten to trade the bishops off, and I threaten knight b6. So I like it, I'm going to play knight c6. He could also take with the rook, but I think that's not such a good option. If he takes with the rook, I'll just play bishop h6, try to weaken his king. Takes with the bishop, okay, to get queen d7 in. Okay, candidates, bishop h6, bishop b6, which I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, I don't really mind knight g3 because that would get rid of my bad bishop. Okay, I'll just go bishop h6 because it's hard to find candidate moves here. Uh, I sort of want to get rid of his bishop. If he takes on d5, I'll, I'll take on g7.
Actually, maybe this was a bad move. Maybe I should have kept my bishop on the dark squares. I actually don't know whose bishop is better. Yeah, okay, takes on d5. Uh, if I take on g7, I don't think he has time to win a pawn because I can just go bishop f8. So bishop g7, I'm expecting king g7, and then queen takes d5. Maybe I should be opening up my bishop now with c takes, but then the pawn structure is symmetrical. If I go e takes, he can play b5. Okay, bishop g7, and if he goes queen b6, I can just play bishop d5, bishop d4. I don't know. I, I guess this is just equal. Don't like my position that much. Knight takes. Okay, I need to take with the queen on d5. So. Yeah, I'll just take with the queen. If he goes queen b6, I'll go king h2. The benefit of having played h3. And also stopping any future knight h3. Knight g3. And defending g3 if he plays knight h5, so that I can play g3 defended by the king. Yeah, but this is just equal. Okay, uh, why would he give up a pawn like that? Why can't I go queen b7? Is my queen trapped? I don't think my queen is trapped. I have the b4 square and the a6 pawn, so I'm just going to take. I don't want to waste too much time. It would be a whole different story if he could go rook b5, but... Yeah, I'm not sure why he gave up a pawn. It was an equal position. Now I think I'm just a pawn up. I don't know. This was unnecessary. I'm not happy with how I played. It was an equal position. Can I not take on a6? He keeps tempting me. Knight f4, bishop f1. I'm not too concerned. I'll just take. Ooh, does he have... He has... Rook a5. That I missed. Ooh, if queen a6, rook a5. It's a good move. Okay, so let's just bring the queen to safety. Queen b4, the safest move on the board, I think. I almost missed rook a5, horrible.
And also now in some cases I can go queen takes c5, stops it now, it's fine. Uh, I'm kind of worried about my dark squares. I don't like his knight jumping into f4. I'm not really a big fan of my queen uh, on b4, so I'm going to play queen d2, overprotecting my c1 rook, stopping knight f4. If queen b6, I'm going to go king h2. I just need to play it safe now. I'm a pawn up. I need to continue with, with f4, f5 at the correct moment to open up my bishop, but not yet. Also, b4, c5 is a plan. Also, a4, b4, b5 is a plan. Trying to create a passed pawn. I am a pawn up, I need to create a passed pawn. I also need to move my pawns away from the light squares because I'm just. Okay. Well, that doesn't really stop b4. b4, he has to go either rook h5 or rook e5. And if I go c5, if he goes rook c6, I'll go b5 immediately. And if I go b4 and he goes rook h5, I can go f4 with tempo. If he goes rook e5, I can go I don't know bishop d3. Okay, I'll just play b4 because it's very active. Uh, I don't want to have a passive position. I need to attack now. I'm lower on time. And... Oh, he can go queen b6. He can go queen b6. Horrible. No, he can't. I just take the rook. Jesus. Rook e5 is the most active. Uh, so now not to lose a pawn, I need to play something like a3. I could also go b5. But I don't really like b5. Okay, I'll just play a3. If queen b6, king h2. If I could just defend my e4 pawn, his rook would be trapped. If he goes a5, I'll go b5 and have a passed pawn, try to trade the pieces off. That's very aggressive. But 
but it does certainly make sense trying to get knight f4 in but if he goes knight f4 I can go queen d4 so bishop f1 knight f4 queen d4 yeah I need to get my bishop out of harm's way definitely uh, just bishop f1 a prophylactic move to make sure I'm, I'm not hanging my bishop after he moves the knight and also if he moves the knight now where my bishop is not hanging I can just go c5 which is sort of my plan all along I need to since I have a pawn majority on the queen side I need to try and utilize it I need to try to push my pawns I would love to trade the queens off, I would love to trade all the pieces off and I should be winning this ending without any pieces but lower on time, bad bishop, I have to play c5, I just have to play c5 to open up my stupid bishop. How do I improve my position? C5, D takes, B takes, Knight takes, Rook takes, or Queen takes. That loses a pawn. His Knight is annoying. Maybe just Rook C2, trying to double up. I like Rook C2. And if he plays Knight D4, I can go C5. Just going to play rook c2, that's a waiting move, it doesn't do much, but I need to play moves quickly, I'm low on time. And again, if I go rook d to c1 and he plays knight d4, I can go... I don't know, am I afraid of... Am I afraid of g4? Very long time. I don't know, I'm I'm not happy with my position. I'm not too afraid about g4, but still I don't like it. If 
he plays g4, my plan is bishop d3 and f4. Can I not just go h4 now? h4 takes, f4 traps the rook. If he takes on, e on e4, I have bishop d3. So I'm going to do that. Uh, that seems aggressive. hate being in side note. Why am I in side note every game? Okay, somebody said in the comments a few games ago that I should just shut up when in side note, so I'll just not talk now with a minute on the clock. Uh, hope you don't mind that.
Okay, I have been 20 seconds on the clock. I almost blundered with uh, Queen H4, and if Rook E4, and if uh, yeah, okay. Now let's get active. Active play. I need to shut up. I almost, I almost lost some time. Ugh. Okay, uh, why did he give me his queen? What's going on? I don't understand this move. He probably missed that uh, his his queen was hanging there. Okay. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the low quality of, of my play in Sightnet, but what, he had four minutes on the clock, what's he doing? I don't understand the, the queen blunder. Okay, let's, let's go through the game quickly. <laughs> I'm just reading the comments. The last one is... What an anticlimax! I agree. Black started playing as if they only had 10 seconds on the clock. Agreed. Uh, winning but under time pressure. Simply 5. Past C pawn trades queens. E5 weird. Why is E5 weird? Why is E5 weird? I thought E5 was the best move to trade the queens off. Or just win the F pawn. Okay. Uh, does anyone know? Uh, computer, I usually... Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just reading the comments. Uh, I, you say in the comments, I saw that HPY stopped making live videos of his games. Yeah, he said... It was making him lose focus. Agree, but now I wanted to do one anyway. 
he is winning uh, la 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 okay uh, now the first thing is let's check out uh, after knight c3 if queen b6 was a move that was my first question what happens on queen b6 queen b6 black is slightly better but I guess knight f5 should work okay so queen b6 is a bad move what's wrong with this engine okay at first it thinks queen b6 is good but then it changes its mind okay b3 and all of this is fine and this repetition is fine h3 knight c6 okay and now I'm wondering if I had knight takes c6 oh damn it works rook f to d1 is fine as well uh, you guys can see the the moves here okay let's see knight takes c6 i was expecting b takes i was expecting b takes and then knight d5 doesn't work oh but now c5 oh that's very strong Okay, it worked because of c5. I missed that. Rook f to d1 is fine. Knight h5. Knight h5 is a huge blunder because of knight takes c6. Knight d5 is the second best move. Okay. Queen d8. What's so wrong with queen d8? I played knight takes c6. Bishop takes c6. And now bishop h6 is a blunder. I had something with knight b6. What did I have? Yeah, okay. I wasn't too too happy about that. Okay, let's see. Bishop takes d5, takes, 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 takes. Yeah, now just why would he go? Why would he go rook c5? Let's see if I'd messed it up. Plus two and a half. Yeah, h4 was a good move. G takes h4 is a huge blunder, just losing the game, allowing f4. Knight takes f4, queen takes f4, queen d4. Rook e1 is a mistake. Rook g8 is fine. Rook f2 is fine. f6 is okay. Queen takes h4, rook g5, queen f4, king h7. e5, yeah, e5 is a good move. It has to be a good move. Trades the queens off. The engine doesn't see it as a first choice, but who cares? It says it's third best, second best first yay okay i'm happy no e5 is just a very human move trying to trade the queens off i'm happy okay uh so yeah uh happy that i won not happy that i got an equal position he shouldn't have played rook c5 uh, let me know what you think i always played the Maroxi against the dragon and hope you like the game uh see you if not before saturday then on saturday after i play the first round of my tournament. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more chess. Bye bye.